Im Spätsommer 2009, nach seinem österreichischen Sommercamp, habe ich den Indianerältesten Manitonkwat gefragt, nach seiner jahrzehntelangen Erfahrung in gewaltfreier Kommunikation und Kreiskultur mit Menschen zusammenzuleben oder mit Menschen im Kreis zusammenzukommen und auch Konflikte zu lösen oder nach und nach sein Leben zu ändern und neu zu gestalten, habe ich ihn gefragt, wie kann man seine Mitmenschen, wie kann ich meine Mitmenschen motivieren oder anregen oder inspirieren, auch ihr Leben zu verändern, sinnvoller zu gestalten. Und hier ist seine Antwort. The beginning of that is just to listen to each other. So, when you find somebody who is not motivated to make any changes, the first thing to do is to listen to him or her, tell about how they see life and uh, all their feelings and so forth and so on. And eventually, if it comes to be, if I were, do, if I were asking that question and uh, the person said, well, no, what, how do you see it? I would say, well, I like to picture what it would be like on my deathbed when I'm dying and I realize that I'm dying. Am I going to look back and say, I lived a full, rich life. I made the earth better. I made society better. I, the world is better for my having been here. And I had a joyful, exciting time doing the work I'm doing in the world. Or would I say, I didn't spend enough time with my children. I, I never got a chance to play. I never got really close to the people that I'm, I love. I felt like from a very early time that this system was not going to allow me to be a full, complete human being. It was not going to allow me to get really close to people I wanted to get close to, to have a, an exciting, enjoyable life, doing something creative and constructive. So I've always gone my own way in that way. But to convince other people, well, if they're happy where they are, I would leave them where they are, but I still listen to them. And I think eventually most people will admit that this whole society is pretty discouraging. Uh, people have given up on trying to make it human, to make it, you know, given up on trying to have peace in the world, trying to feed everybody, trying to make sure everybody gets medical care. People just kind of give up on that, you know. They feel like it's hopeless. I can't do anything. But I don't feel that way. I feel we actually can do something, and that's what I've been about for the past 40 years, working, working on what we can do.